My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, go to counterpropa.com. My latest article is below. It's just published in Counterpropa, and it is electing Tom Perez DNC chair. Proves Democrats abandoned Bernie Sanders' revolution. Check that out. Please share the article and please share my appearance on No Sellouts. Tim Black's No Sellouts. Tim Black is a great friend of mine. Subscribe to his channel. He is amazing. And it was a great No Sellouts tonight. And we have that every Monday. That link will be below. Please share that link. WikiLeaks calls out what the Washington Post yet again for fake news. The Washington Post is the original fake news uh, publication. And we know this because everything, almost everything they report nowadays, or a lot of what they report, is somebody said. So they're a tabloid. Honestly, TMZ is more credible at this point than the Washington Post. In fact, I would probably put TMZ in many ways as a better organization than the Washington Post because at least they don't pretend to be this, uh, you know, Walter Cronkite type of institution. The Washington Post is as engaged essentially in gossip and hearsay that only helps the establishment. We know this because the CIA is only highly confident, yet the Washington Post publishes everything regarding Russia and Russian hacking as it's certain, and we all have to take it, take, uh, take it very seriously. I'll just get to WikiLeaks. Fake news in today's Washington Post. Assange is not charged in Sweden, so he's not been charged. That's something that most people don't get. Julian Assange has never been charged of anything. No crime in Sweden. And the next thing is Marino is committed to his asylum. So Lenin Marino has committed analysis. The latest poll numbers in Ecuador are a bad sign for Julian Assange. Washington Post, that means they're a very good sign for Julian Assange. Anything the Washington Post talks about in terms of poll numbers, rest assured the opposite will take place. So thank God everything's going to work out well for Julian Assange. Forbes, fake news. Fake news, Washington Post. Fake news and how the Washington Post rewrote its story on Russian hacking of the power grid. Oh, you got called out by Forbes, Washington Post. On Friday, the Washington Post, this was a fantastic article uh, by a contributor in the, to, to, the, uh, to Forbes, the 1st of January, 2017, uh, Kalev uh, Literu. Uh, on Friday, the Washington Post sparked a wave of fear when it ran the breathless headline, Russian hackers penetrated U.S. electric grid through a utility in Vermont, U.S. officials say. Of course, nothing, anything the Washington Post does, it's either U.S. officials say or somebody close to the investigation says. It's never concrete. Or, the lead sentence offers a, quote, a code associated with Russian hacking operation dubbed Grizzly step by the Obama administration has been detected within a system of a Vermont utility, according to U.S. officials, and continued, quote, while the Russians do not actively use the code to disrupt operation, operations of the utility, according to officials who spoke on condition of anonymity, gee, that's what the Washington Post loves, in order to discuss the security matter, the penetration of the nation's electrical grid is significant because it represents potentially serious vulnerability. Yet it turns out this narrative was false. And as the chronology below will show, illustrates how effectively false and misleading news can ricochet through the global news echo chamber, through the pages of top tier newspapers that fail to properly verify its facts. My God, this is a fantastic article. I share it below. I'll put that this link below. The original article was posted, and then he goes. The gentleman goes in chronological order of each article that tries to make sense of the previous Washington Post article. That is, they started with fake news. So it wasn't Russian hacking. It was a computer that had a virus or... Uh, yeah, it was a computer that... It was traced back to a computer that wasn't even connected to the power grid. So give me your thoughts below. This is a fantastic Forbes article calling out the Washington Post fake news, and WikiLeaks called them out, uh, actually called them the original fake news site not long ago. And 
again, Julian Assange has never been charged with a crime. And uh, Lenin Marino stands by Julian Assange's asylum. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.